so uh, today earlier today uh, Dim Wango posted an inspirational video and now I was like that is why that is why she overstayed or is overstaying really a very harsh uh, word but she actually had to stay in Jamaica for this long so that she can achieve her dream of buying a lovely mother a car and is actually uh, that video was running she could actually like um go to back in the day and narrate to us how life had been and what was more encouraging was the fact that um her mother had manifested about her being successful and actually coming or visiting her with ve with a vehicle using like it was just an uh, a very very inspirational um, video to be sincere and yesterday the dream came to reality on Valentine's Day and I want to say congratulations our sister Dim Wango younger sister and my good people my good people that video was really really inspirational and remember Dim Wango actually when she was uh, starting her YouTube channel you remember she actually visited Uganda Uganda was a first international country to visit and when she actually went there what happened she met um, or she requested a sala tourist to host her in their home since she could not afford to pay for an airbnb or for a hotel and guys through hard work she has been able to achieve a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot and actually guys the achievements that she gets encourages inspires us guys when you are starting youtube for the first time you always feel like giving up giving up but the more we also watch uh, videos like that of dimwango marwa and mayugno nasto everyone else we feel inspired encouraged her uh, to keep pushing and my good people i just want to take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to aya marwa because you can imagine you can imagine uh, the big influence that he has and maybe he decided and he was like no i'm not going to empower my family let them uh, ask uh, for money from me by the way there are people like that there are people whom like instead of empowering uh, their family their people they will be like i am willing to give them uh, money uh, like Okay, you see how African politicians behave like that. That's what I mean. You know, an African politician, they will never empower their community. They will em never empower their people. You see, what they'll do is keep uh, developing themselves, keep pushing themselves higher and higher and higher. But for this one person that voted for him or her they will always give them uh, 100 shillings like they will even prefer to give people 100 shillings every uh, week or every two weeks and you see this 100 kenyan shillings is less than a dollar and this person actually who voted for this politician there is no way that 100 um, kenyan shillings can help him or her because they will just take go and buy food go and buy something and at the end of the day their lives remain the same it never changes those are politicians but mara decided to be this kind of person whom he actually empowered his own people and he started from home and actually what he did was a true meaning of charity begins at home because before anyone else was empowered he first started with his sister and he could always like you remember when uh, Dim Wango was in university even if you watch a uh, first video actually you will see that she wasn't even interested but what did uh, the brother do Aya Marwa he used to send uh, Dim Wango $10 every every for every video that he posts 
ten dollars for every video and D could actually post videos because of the ten dollars and not because he wanted to until a time came when he grew the channel and actually that is when he saw a turning point and I truly appreciate uh, De Mwango because he never wasted the opportunity that uh, the brother opened uh, to him. You know, Marwa has opened the world to so many people and it's really hard for other human beings to be like Marwa and that is why for me I will always be grateful to I am uh, Marwa so guys let's go back to yesterday's uh, story or to yesterday's uh, video actually it's not even yesterday you know the video was posted today and the activities happened yesterday that's why I'm a little bit um, confusing about the dates but um, Dimwango gifted the mother a brand new bmw bmw uh, vehicle and i want to say thank you so much because the the level of inspiration that you've put into us is on another level to be sincere and guys i want to say a very big thank you thank you thank you to uh, ayamara and the family in general you know, actually, uh, Marwa's action reflects a desire to uplift other people, like not only his family members, but other people. So, from me to Dimwango, congratulations, sister, congratulations. I wish I knew how to, okay, I know how to sing, but I wasn't blessed with a voice to sing because I have spent 90% of my time being silent actually it's youtube that has made me to like start speaking otherwise for the rest of my life i've been silent and i think that is why my voice is always um uh, low like i will i will call someone 20 meters apart and they will not even hear they'll be like your voice is really down but you know God's timing is the best, you know, because I, I, actually nowadays I feel better when it comes even to my voice. I feel like it has uh, started coming out and it will come out for sure. It will. And another another thing that I want to uh, say is to appreciate, to appreciate you, Timara. You know, yesterday I asked a question because even for me, I was a little bit confused. Should I do reaction? Should I do vlogs? Should I do both? And you said we do both and I truly appreciate and that is what I will be doing or that is what we will be doing. You know, this is our channel. It can't exist without you uh, to be sincere. That is a fact. At this point, I feel how Dimwango, like, I, I'm just trying to imagine how Dimwango is feeling. Because you can imagine, um, like, sacrificing to stay in one country for so long just because uh, you want to achieve this particular goal. And at last you achieve it. Like, you can imagine um, how she feels wow it's an inspiration like i won't even get tired of talking about inspiration inspiration because she has actually because you know she is actually less than 30 years and the mother is at 58 going to 59 this year and you can imagine the mother is actually having a car or owning a car for the first time for the first time in f over 50 years Wow. And also, I loved uh, the fact that the mother actually used to encourage um, the kid, okay, our kids who are now uh, Dimwango, Marwa, David Jr., and the big sister. And, you know, it taught me one thing, that as parents, we play a major role in our children's uh, future. Like, if you keep speaking blessings to them, for real, it will happen. It will happen because you know the kids will be like yeah my mama said this and this and this and yeah it's a matter of actually giving up and giving like just manifesting a bright future to uh, your children thank you so much it was an educative uh, video it was an inspirational i don't even know uh, the type of words that i can use here you know Guys, I you know, me, I'm like, some people, 
they don't believe that the mwango can buy a car. You don't believe. <laughs> hmm. Guys, D has been in D Mongo has been staying in Jamaica and with all the views that she has been getting, guys, and you still don't believe you don't believe she can. D Mongo can buy a car, she can buy a house, she can buy a land. Yeah, whatever she wants to be sincere, to be sincere. You know, guys, I was wondering, like, um, someone is coming out and uh, starting to say that, oh, uh, I feel so sorry for Congrats Dad. Uh, he was called, or actually they made him to travel all the way from Nyabuanse to Nairobi and go to nothing. And I'm like, guys, do you know even the next video of Dim Wango will be about what? Do you know what uh, she has planned for her dad, even if it will come in the next one week? Definitely, definitely, that's what I know. Like, uh, when it comes even to the car, it's something that um, she had planned for it for so long. Like, she, done, she just uh, didn't do it, like, within a day. Something like buying a car. First of all, actually... You you start by telling your mother I I will buy you. like just like as a child like mom one day I'm going to buy you a car like it will just come out as a manifestation and hope and everything and now it happens that uh, this day comes you know and you surprise them so buying Dimongo when it comes to Dimongo buying the uh, mother a car. It's something that she had already talked about and we could hear clearly from the mother. She was like, you know, I didn't know like it was uh, it was going to happen this soon. I didn't know that it was the, it was a truth, something like that. Because, you know, when a child uh, tells you that, mom, I'm going to do something for you, you'll be like, yeah, at least uh, it's, uh, I have a child who has like a vision, who has hope, who has this. And you'll just leave it like you, you don't take it seriously. And then it happens. It shocks you. And uh, so it was true. Wow. Thank you, Jamaicans. Jamaicans. Thank you so much because uh, you supported our lovely sister. And now through a video, she has inspired us a lot. And a lot and a lot and a lot thank you so much and for the people that are like um why did they have to make congrats that uh, travel all the way like you don't know dim wango's plan it's dim wango who knows her own plans you know because she's the one who is working she's the one who's working and definitely she will actually like um she will give back to the parents. That's what I am um, hundred percent sure. If not the parent, even the sister. Like, but for the dad, for real me, I know. I know. I am really optimistic. Like, I don't know. I just have this feeling that it will happen, because uh, there is no way. Like, um, she can call the dad and just like uh, she she might even give her some money. But j what I know is that. She's going to... Let's wait for the next video. What, that's what I can say. Let's wait for the next video. Even if it doesn't happen now, 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 I know it will happen. As, as long as uh, she's around here in Kenya, I know it will happen, guys. Let's not judge someone based on a video that we don't even know the ending. Like, you know, the, the, the Valentine season, the Valentine has not yet ended. That It was just 14th yesterday. To the haters, how do you feel about Adi Mwango's win? Now that you always call her all sorts of names, all sorts of these, blah, 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 blah. How do you feel with the achievement? I know you'll be like, I don't feel bad for her. What? what? You people are so jealous to the point that you can't even believe that she can afford to buy a car. Uh, not only a car, but a BMW. BMW from German, German machine, and you know, German machines, top notch, top notch. So what I can tell you, 
what I can tell you, because you know, I've already seen someone coming out to uh, create a video and saying that, oh, they did, uh, did this, did that, humiliated the father, did that. No, they did not uh, humiliate the father. You know, that is something that had been planned, you know, and it was only executed at an earlier time than um, it had been planned for. You know, when a child tells you they will buy you something, you expect maybe after five years, after six years, and then it happens like just the next month or the next year, you know. So let's learn to embrace wins, people's wins. Let's learn to congratulate people. Let's learn to actually like... um just to encourage them and tell them a, a big congratulations like like just take it as uh their win is also your win you know what i know is that uh congrats mom will be able to maintain the car to do everything even if she retires because she is a youtuber she's a farmer congrats dad is also a farmer and you know that car will not only be be used by congrats mom it is a family car definitely because congrats mom will be retiring very very soon and there is no way congrats mom can use the car and congrats uh, dad uses the um what do we call the motorbike or any other means of transport that is a family car when they want to visit um anywhere they will use it like all of them that is what i am 100 percent sure about you know so guys uh there is this story where people are trying to bring out an issue that um marwa and ro are not in good terms uh, just because uh they didn't celebrate valentine's day you know and my good people i just want to remind you that you know marwa is an sda seventh day adventist and that's why you could hear marwa saying that um he doesn't celebrate anything except the new year and actually we watched all his videos and even during christmas they didn't celebrate and we know why and for the case of valentine's for the case of Valentine's or Valentine's Day, you know, Seventh Day Adventists, I came to learn that actually they consider Valentine's Day is a pagan uh, celebration, and that was really shocking to me. And because you know, definitely I was conversing or I was actually communicating with um, someone and we talked about SDA, uh, we talked about Valentine's Day and this and this and she told me that as an SDA they don't celebrate uh, Valentine's Day, that actually love should be expressed every day and not on just a specific day. So guys, yeah, instead of uh, this lazy gang understanding that like SDS don't uh, celebrate most of the things in the year, like Valentine's, Christmas, and all that, except uh, for the new year. They go ahead and start saying, oh, if it was uh, me being told uh, this and this and this, I would have left, what, what. And trying to bring out uh, this conversation that Marwa and Rosia are not in good terms, like just because of Valentine's Day. And you must understand that um, Marwa is an SDA. Their parents, even their church, it's a Seventh-day Adventist. And actually, uh, if we have someone from or if you are watching and you are an SDA kindly um let us know about this like uh why do SDAs not celebrate why do they not celebrate most of the things in the year and no that's uh it's like actually i don't know how to explain these things it's like you know that's like a tradition so guys i truly and truly and truly hope that uh rocio doesn't watch these negative reactors because you see, for like one of the lady here in Kenya, she's like, yeah, Ro, do this, do that, do... No, actually these people are just there to destroy the relationship between um, Marwa and Rocio. And 
I I can't actually I've already like uh in the past I advised her never to uh, watch such videos because if she doesn't understand like she'll end up believing them and you know these people they only use reverse psychology yeah unless you understand the fact that they use reverse psychology then that is okay you